the focus for us has always been storytelling. So it's storytelling from that very first class. It is storytelling through the use and the more hands-on course of cinematography one and two, where you're learning to use the materials, the, the actual instruments themselves. There are film studies programs where you essentially uh, watch films, talk about films, or read about films, but you don't actually do a lot of production in those courses. In our program, we're production-based. So we like to uh, study the theory of things like cinematography, lighting, and then immediately take the theory and apply it. Put your hands on a camera, put your hands on lenses, put your hand on lights, and be able to learn how to use those tools. It's, it's essential for being in the industry to know how to use gear, how to set up gear, uh, how to talk about gear, because there's a lot of lingo that you learn. And those skills uh, do translate directly to the industry. I've learned firsthand being on actual professional sets versus JBU sets, they're very similar. When I looked at other programs, they would start right out of the gate with just gen eds and classes like that and wouldn't start to let you touch gear until about junior or senior year. Some of the first classes you'll be taking is film classes, learning about what gear is, how to use it, why you want to be using it, or why you want to be using something else. At John Brown University, there's a lot of opportunities for filmmakers. Um, we get constant opportunities during the coursework to work on our own projects. We're encouraged to bring on our own passion pieces, and we are given industry opportunities as well to work on other people's projects. Many students come to John Brown University's film program with the vision that they're going to go out and work in the film industry, and there is a percentage of our students that actually do that work. We have a lot of students who go into uh, commercial video positions. We have students who go into news positions. We have students who go into documentarian uh, type work or work for nonprofits. I've had the opportunity to work on a lot of projects uh, that you know, spans bigger things outside of being a student, uh, one of which was a documentary project uh, called Abila of the Decapolis, which I shot over a summer in uh, the Middle East, um, which I would never have been able to do or even think of without the skills I learned at JBU. It's been really fun to collaborate with other students. Most of my crew I have gotten to work with on other senior films. I was able to go to specific people and say, hey, do you want this specific role? Because I've seen you do this role before and you're really good at it, or I've heard that you enjoy this role. You do a group project and you look at someone and you're like, you're really good at that. Like, is that what you're wanting to do? And they'll tell you, no, being a gaffer is really not what I'm interested in. I'd, I'd love to do audio. That's always an exclamation mark in my head because as an AD, I'm always looking for an audio guy. I hear someone's interested in something else and that's me filling out my, my call sheet in my head of these are the positions I need and you're gonna fit great in one of these positions. The film industry is very broad. And at John Brown, there's a lot of opportunity to dive deeper into what part of the film industry you're most interested in. So I personally enjoy editing, and there's opportunity to take editing classes, color grading courses, and audio classes. It's all based on you, and you can tailor the program to what you are most interested in. I learned the practical by my day in, day out working. And when we came to teaching, at that point then, we had to combine the practical, this is how you do this, with this is why you do this. Steve Snedeker and I have both worked professionally in the film business, in lots of different roles, with lots of different hats. So we know what it takes to get the job done, and we know how to prepare students. So sometimes I'll be sitting there with Sned, and he'll put on the hat of a professor of like, well, this needs to get done. This needs to happen. You gotta screen this in a month or something like that, so do what you need. But then there's other times where Snad is put on the hat of an executive producer, which he is for all film sets, and he's been there to creatively problem solve. We're expected to get to the point where we can use all of this equipment and, and the technical skills that we've gained and not have to think about them and just use them for creative purposes. We can grab our gear and go out and start shooting without having to worry about having you know everything we need because it's already second hand, you know, we, we've got it down to a science. Being able to have the experience and just being able to say, yes, I've used this kind of camera, or I know how to do this kind of lighting setup. It's been really awesome to just kind of be able to learn like, okay, here's what a grip does, here's what a gaffer does, and here's how they're different, here's how they're similar, and here's how they, you know, work together. I think John Brown's done a really good job of letting us see all the potential avenues that we could venture down and giving us a really great glimpse into what that industry looks like and really sets us up for success to follow any of those paths. 
Many productions come to Northwest Arkansas to shoot because of the beauty of the area, because of the variety of towns and, and uh, city escapes that are available for a, a film production. I mean, it's very attractive. It's a right to work state. They love to come here. And when they've discovered that they have a, a pool of qualified students that can come on board and to help them with their productions, they're very pleased with what uh, John Brown University's film program is providing to the area. As a filmmaker, I really try to strive to uh, give a Christ-like example through my work, and it's definitely emphasized in our coursework uh, that you know, Christ is overall and that um, everything we do should be in honor of Him. That comes to the way we talk on set, the way we shoot and produce films, and the content we're creating. We as students find it really important that we glorify God in our work, especially as artists and filmmakers. Uh, and going into an, a secular world of art, it's really important that we represent Christ in the right way. I think one of the things the professors at John Brown do a really good job of is letting us all choose the story that we want to tell. When it comes to your senior film, you're truly able to do it about something that you really care about. Like mine personally is about my own personal story with my brother, and at no point was I ever told that maybe I should choose something else. They've always been fully behind what it is I want to do and pushing me to chase after my dreams and my visions. I'm asked often about content, uh, what's allowed and what isn't. Usually my answer is pretty simple. Being a Christian university, if we can't take on and wrestle with any topic out there, I'm not really sure we're being a Christian university. Although we don't necessarily require our students to make Christian films, we do encourage our students to be Christians who make films. We have opportunity then to see them develop redemptive, transformative stories that really show people uh, as they are, sometimes the, the gritty, ugly part of sin, and then uh, move beyond that into the place where there's redemption and there is uh, a chance for change.